What's going on guys? Before I start this video, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching and this is a little bit different of a video, but it means a lot because it took a lot of hard work and it took a couple months, but that's why I'm excited to show you guys and finally be back with the videos. Um, but yeah, let's first play the intro. So before I get started, I just want to let you guys know that, you know, trying to balance like work, personal life, side projects, videos, fitness, it's pretty difficult, but you know, it's, it's a challenge that like I'm completely up for because these are all things that like I love doing, you know, and then when warmer weather comes, it's just going to be an abundance of other things. and. As of late, the past few months, I've just been caught up doing a bunch of other things, like priorities, like uh, renovating and redoing our house. And I am so happy, it took so much effort, and thank you to my father-in-law, who is such a huge help with us. Um, and yeah, I just, I just wanna show you guys, and that's why I've been just so busy and caught up doing that, so. What I'm going to do, I am going to do a little screenshot, well not really a screenshot, but I'm going to put up a, uh, a picture of the before and then I'm going to take you guys through the after, alright? So let's get into the first room. As you guys can see, the, the walls are like really green and everything is just old and it feels really dark, the light is really dark. Let me show you guys how it looks. So the door was that just raw wood, brown. It's been sanded, painted. The flooring is done. The threshold has been painted and sanded. New rug, just a fresh coat of paint. The curtain, 100 watt light bulb daylight, which makes a huge difference. And this is the, this is the angle that is that has like a great comparison we just wanted to clean it up make it very simple and eventually we'll get new washer and dryers but this is how it looks now so we love it it looks great we put, added in the uh the under shelf light thing there and we have a spot for our bags and we just wanted to brighten everything up clean it up and make it as simple and just bright as possible, you know? Now, here is my favorite part of the entire, what would you call it, like a remodel of our house, and it's beyond this door. And before we go down there, um, just to keep in mind, I don't think I have a picture of the hallway going down. Um, it was just filled with old wallpaper. It was like peeling off was plaster behind it and it, the wallpaper was a premium wallpaper so it was super thick. The stairs were gross, there used to be carpet down there. I'll, all those pictures I'll put right now. Boom, 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 boom. There, there he is. I don't know how many pictures I put up but yeah. So keep in mind we just wanted the simple minimalistic zen style feel and you guys saw how it looked like before, whether it was just all the dark, gloomy wood and the, the carpet flooring, it's just old dated, but here's how it looks now. And we are so excited. This is where most of my projects will be done, is down here. And everything is supposed to be very, you know what? I'll just explain to you guys after. So let's go down there and voila. So, as you guys can see, we added in a new fixture, painted the wall, sanded it down, repaired some of the spots with holes, and we added in the plants there, and painted the steps, 
fixed any of the imperfections in the wood and it just looks so much better, so much more inviting. As you guys can see, the uh, this wood, you wouldn't even call it wood paneling, but it's just wood. So the wood, the knotty pine, uh, no pun intended, but all of this wood, there's so there are so many imperfections that we had to fix, sand it down, because it is an older home. All of the paint that we used were high quality paint, you know, the top of the line paint, because we knew that we were gonna need it. We needed, you know, paint that was gonna provide us like forgiveness when we're when we're painting. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to preview how the angles are looking. Um, we needed to have paint, you know, we, we just couldn't go the cheap route in terms of paint um, to cover up a lot of the imperfections, but it does provide such a clean feel now, which this is what we wanted. So as we keep continuing down the stairs, eventually I wanted to put like lights going underneath the stairs so that way you can see. Before I show you the, the big space, what I want to reiterate is that it was really dark and really gloomy. And before I even go downstairs, here's a picture of the stairs when we were first ripping up the carpet. Yeah, so that's a huge difference. And then down here, as you guys can see in the pictures, um, it's just all like we've been, we've been working on it little by little uh, throughout the years that we've been here. We've been here going on, I believe it's four years now. Everything was just really dark and dated and old and yada yada yada. And the walls were filled with wallpaper. We ended up ripping that down, but here's the after. So here's a quick before I, again. And now here's the after. As we come down, I just want to show you guys before we get started before we get started with the rest of the rooms here's a picture of the bathroom that was here and we completely gutted that out you see how old the tile is and everything the tile is super old the just everything we I feel like we were having moisture issues um, but on the drywall it was molding and the toilet is ugh, dated, old, it wasn't sealed correctly. Um, the vanities, old, Every, everything's just old, guys, if you guys haven't got that yet. But now, here is the bathroom, the half bath down here now. As I take you guys into this half bath, um, so many things have been updated. The fan, or yeah, the, the fan, we, we, we took it apart, cleaned it all out, added in a brighter bulb, a daylight bulb. Those are my favorite bulbs. I hate the soft white bulbs. They're just too, ugh. They belong in, in just the bedroom and maybe the dining room. Um, the toilet, brand new toilet, we've had that for a while. Um, same one as we have upstairs and we sealed it correctly cleaned it out we ended up my father-in-law help, helped us um, patch this drywall because we ended up cutting it out to, to see what the moisture issue was behind it um, we reinforced the aluminum framing with pressure treated 2x4 along the the frames running up and down and then the bottom frame um, as well as just pulled it, putting in a brand new um, mold resistant drywall. Um, we took apart the old tile flooring. This is this, we took apart the old tile flooring. Uh, we rented a demolition hammer, took it all, took it out as best as we could, um, cleaned it out, put in some uh, self-leveling cement where it was necessary, and then waiting for that to dry, 
and then put in this uh, premium vinyl flooring. This is a washed oak that we have, the same as the laundry room and the same as the kitchen and the upstairs bath. And I put this in myself and my father-in-law ended up putting in the molding, which looks great. We ended up painting, taking off the wallpaper, sanding down any imperfections, um, patching it up, and ha-ha, what up? Um, I picked out this mirror. We picked it up, I believe, at uh, I actually don't know. I think it was TJ Maxx or Home Goods or Target somewhere. This vanity. Uh, our in-laws were going to get rid of it at a garage sale. We ended up taking it off their hands about like a year ago and we put it in. Uh, those are new fixtures that they had with it as well. And we ended up getting a towel holder from Amazon because we can't find that anywhere. As well as this simple, modern, stainless um, toilet paper holder. We just wanted that simple. Maybe a little bit higher, a little bit longer rod. But that stainless steel, it was just just something simple, just like that. It was so hard to find in store anywhere. And which was actually to our surprise, because it was like, why is that why was that so difficult? But ended up ordering it off Amazon and so it works perfect. My father-in-law also put in new uh, switches and outlets everywhere. We already had the plates and new drop down ceiling tiles these are fiberglass ceiling tiles and this was the probably one of the biggest pains was um, sanding all of this down as much as we could priming it and then putting coats and coats and coats of the premium paint that we have going throughout so yeah eventually we will probably need to put more coats on because all of this pine bleeds sap so it comes out like a little bit brownish and it looks oily and it bleeds through the paint but that's inevitable you probably can't even hear me because of the fan so I'm turning that off but now this is where our favorite area is now um, so where do I begin so let's do a comparison before I even start a comparison of the same angle as me ripping apart the stairs and now, how it looks now. So as you can see, that's a huge change. Um, oh man, I don't even know where to begin. Let's start with the flooring. So the flooring, it's a raw concrete slab and that's probably the most imperfect, the spot where there's the most imperfection. Um, we've sealed this flooring, uh, not too long ago when we first moved in and because we ripped out the carpet and we put down an epoxy f uh an epoxy like garage paint after cleaning because that's what was most recommended that didn't really last too long it you can see it starting to get ripped up with areas with heavy traffic so we ended up putting down the outdoor porch patio paint the dark gray which we actually end up loving because it kind of allows everything to contrast because everything's so much more brighter in here as you guys can see we have replaced all of these with 100 watts um, of daylight bulbs and those as well just to bright like this is like this is a basement and just to be able to brighten everything up feels amazing and so we also have j these area rugs covering the flooring throughout the space right now um, until we're able to have enough money to put in legit flooring like the premium vinyl and run it throughout the entire basement and we also got new um, tension rods with new curtains at first, when we when I thought we were done, these walls were painted Carolina blue. That was like the only thing that we did down here, really. And once we, everything was white and brightened up, my wife wanted to change the color. So luckily, I had recently purchased this paint color because I was planning on doing 
the unfinished side, which is kind of like the workshop side. Um, I was going to paint the shelves and the workbenches all of this gray. But now we ended up using it for here. So I love it. I'm glad we did it. Um, so it looks great. These lamps we've had um, for a while. We just never used it. Uh, yeah. And this... So let me let me explain the um, let me explain the couches. So I have a lot of nieces and nephews, and they need a place to stay whenever they come up here. And so we needed something multifunctional. Our style that we want is very simplistic, and we need something that actually fits down these stairs so our options are pretty limited we we would have to look for something that's rta which is ready to assemble nothing we don't have we don't have a bulkhead and nothing's going to fit through those windows so we were trying to think of what our options were we weren't sure what route we were going to go we went and looked at furniture stores like cardi's and I think that was the only one that we actually looked at but we we always look around wherever we shop um anyhow we were watching diy stuff on youtube i forgot i forgot our youtube but shout out to this girl this girl who showed us um who had a video up and we loved the idea so we kind of took it up another notch so multifunctional for the kids for a place to stay in a, a place to sleep, simplistic, and it would fit down here. So that's a lot of criteria um, for our space. So we decided to go with this. We decided to go with the three twin beds and turn them into a sectional, right? With us, everything has to be multifunctional because we always have a lot of different things going on. Um, whether it's projects we need space or uh, family who visits, th things of that nature, hosting friends, whatever it may be, uh, it has to be multifunctional for us. So we already had been gifted the middle um, twin size bed from Ikea, from her uncle. So the video contained two twin size bed from Ikea. So what we ended up doing, we went to Ikea that night at um, watching the DIY, DIY video and we ended up getting two more ended up getting two more with these huge 25 inch back cushions so we ended up getting 10 of them and these sheets we usually would ideally have the white ones we we do have the white ones that's the ones that we first originally bought but we decided to, we've switched the sheets already like three different times because we wanted to get like a good vibe of what we wanted. Um, the gray, if we had people over, would be a much better option because it's the, you know, dirt is less noticeable on that. But the grays, the dark gray contrast looks so great. It, you know, it matches the curtains as well as the flooring, the floor color. I had already bought these a while ago, these two um, end tables from Ikea, very modern looking. We just got this elephant one uh, this week and we purchased the Buddha one. So it's very, our vibe was to have it be very zen, like very simple. Um, and we love how it turned out. And the best part about having these are is that two end tables you can use them separately for if you don't need a big spot if we ended up eating eating or something down here we can pull it apart and we we'll each have a side or we can put it back together and have one big coffee table and it's super light because it's from ikea obviously the quality is not you know the absolute best but it works perfectly for us. So we are super proud of this. I I forgot to mention on the middle, the middle bed, it had um, a headrest like that, but I ended up sawing it off and then sanding it down. Um, I ended up raising the, what do you call that? 
you know, the rack that the bed sits on. I ended up raising that, drilling in the holes, reinstalling the rack so it sits a little bit higher so everything's even. And yeah, originally out, I um, I contacted my friend um, Evan to see if you know if he had any cool ideas so that maybe we can like build the backrest and angle it and so that way it could be a legit sectional, have the backrest, upholster it, what and what have you and make it look legit but right now this works perfectly for us and it's perfect because now now if if our family comes we can easily pull these beds apart and have three rows and they'll each get a bed and we also have extra uh, mattresses air mattresses that we can just lay down here with memory foam and all that good stuff and you know I had to treat myself with all of this hard work. So we opted to get a TV big enough to fill in this space. So I had measured it. We had like maybe 75 inches with some play around the sides. We knew that the stand was gonna be there. So we got a really good deal on this seven, eight, no, this is eight series, eight series Samsung TV. It's a 65 inch. Fits perfectly. My Siri on my phone. We have perfect amount of play. Well, not really, but we have a perfect amount of like excess space around the entire TV. It's almost even kind of like perfect, honestly. And then we have the light in the back to kind of brighten it up. So it looks great when it's lit and all the lights are off. Um, so yeah, and another big treat for me is that we used to have a 40 inch TV right there. And so like the space, the entertainment cutout right there would just the, would dwarf that 40 inch TV. So since we got the new one, we ended up cleaning out this area and this was new for me, and I ended up utilizing that TV to mount, bang, the 40 TV into the brick wall. Now here, there used to be a stove, a pellet stove, I believe, and so the vent would run through the brick, so that's why it still looks like it needs to get patched up. Um, eventually it will. We had a foosball table here. We took it out because we never use it and ended up putting in this table that we've had and now that's kind of like my little work area um and i can have the tv hooked up have my macbook hooked up and projected onto the tv as well and i can do my project shoot my videos and if i ever need to shoot a um a different if i ever need to shoot a video i can always set up the desk here have the tripod and lighting here, and I'll be perfect to go. If I need to shoot review videos or anything like that for you guys, this will most likely be where it's at because I have all my studio equipment down here. Um, also, another big thing with the, that TV being mounted, it's just so cool. It's just something that like I've always wanted. I've never mounted a TV before, and, and obviously it had to be the most difficult one is into masonry so went to lowe's got all that good stuff the drill bits and everything learned how to anchor it and it fits perfect there and that's actually a full swivel it's a full swivel tv full motion so it comes out about 20 inches and it could tilt up that it could tilt this way or this way so i can corner it if i want and this was the main reason why i got it so so if I sit here in this spot, oh, I can watch the GOAT, Tom Brady's Combine back in 2000, and I can have a different game going on here. So when the season comes, guys, best believe this is my spot, and I will be able to live out another one of my dreams and check it off the list. So that's going to be great.
But um, yeah, this is gonna be a perfect spot for me to work as well, edit videos. I can have it projected on the screen. I can cast it and um, yeah, just have a better look and a better feel for all that stuff. I can't stress it enough to you guys how, how awesome this is and how awesome it feels to just like have an awesome space like this. You know, it doesn't even feel like, you know, it, it's it, I'm, it's still setting in for me. We finished the upstairs, the kitchen, and we've done all that, but I'm not gonna show that to you guys. Our, both of our rooms, our spare rooms that we have, and as well as our, our master uh, bedroom where we sleep, we've just done so much, and our house has really become our home, and I, I'm, I've always been the type to always wanna be out and about, but now it's just, I have everything I need at home, you know? I have my beautiful wife and a great place to lay my head and watch the games and enjoy and work on projects and stuff like the brand, the clothing apparel brand, uh, these videos and everything for you guys. So, I mean, I couldn't ask for more. Um, but yeah, just to close out this video, guys, I'm sorry if it took a really long time. Um, with the video but this has really been such a work in progress um, yeah even even the tile i painted some of the tile i still have one more to go um we gotta clean that up eventually we'll change it but um yeah it's been a long time coming to create a space like this and as you guys saw in the pictures previously this space literally has come a long way and um from the outside looking in it may just look like there are just, you know, all you guys did was paint, but there was a lot more to this project than just paint. A lot of sanding, a lot of co joint co uh, compounds, um, you know, just sanding and cutting trim pieces like in in that cutout along the bottom. There was. There were just so many little things that just quickly add up. And then once you think you're done, you either find other things that are wrong with it that came up and you, you, you kind of debate to yourself like, hmm, should I, should we just deal with it or should we fit or should we, you know, do the whole thing correctly again and keep, keep working. And, and it's always just, let's just do it the right way. So we don't have to really worry about it. Um, like, cause these wooden, knotty pine chair rails were a huge pain in the butt. Um, we also painted the uh, baseboard heating and our baseboard heating down here works amazing. Um, but yeah, I wanted to catch up to you guys, uh, catch up with you guys and show you guys the space and dedicate a video of it. Um, a dedicate a video just for this because there would, it would have been really hard to tie it into like a vlog or any other type of video. But um, yeah, I'm super appreciative. We worked really hard, really proud of, you know, my wife and I, and a uh, huge thank you again to my father-in-law for helping out so much, as well as my mother-in-law. You know, we love you guys um, and we're super appreciative. You know, it's something that we don't take for granted. You know, we we um, really appreciate all their help and insight and, you know there were so many times where i would facetime him and just ask him a bunch of questions even if he's tired from working all day i know but yeah so this is gonna conclude the video guys another view from my spot you know so another thing <laughs> before i let you guys go if you guys haven't left already um this is in no way to if you know me at all this is in no way of bragging it's really just me being happy and wanting to share it with you guys. Um, because one of my, I would say, one of my best qualities that I'm proud of is that I'm genuinely happy for others when, whether it's an accomplishment or a big life milestone, you know, it's never about me. It's, you know, just being happy for others when, you know, good things happen to them or whatever it may be. Um, I'm always genuinely happy for people, whether they get raises or, uh, you know, they're pregnant or they move in a house or they do cool projects. And um, I'm proud of people's achievements and I'm genuinely happy for others. So this is just 
to show you, to share with you guys what I've been up to um, and all the hard work I put in uh, and just to share it with you guys and hopefully you guys get some cool ideas from the from our project as well um yeah and if you guys have any questions feel free to leave it down in the comments you know and hopefully you guys give the video a like as well as you know subscribing because my content i've realized that you know having a niche is great everybody wants a niche to find it but i literally i love too many things and i can't really hold like handcuff myself to just uh, fitness videos or just vlogs or just reviews or just um, uh, what, fishing and crabbing videos. Like I love to do it all. And then now you guys can see a house renovation type of uh, video. So my passion is a lot of passions. So that this is, I just got it. I'm gonna do my YouTube the way I want to because if I was handcuffed to just doing one thing and, and having a niche, it, I just wouldn't be happy. And creatively, I would feel like boxed. And I, this is my platform to share with you guys me, my life, and everything in between, I guess. Well, not everything. Um, I choose what I want to be public and I keep my private life very much so. And yeah. So guys, I never left YouTube. I've been trying to sprinkle in videos in between, but this has just been so time consuming and I'm blabbing on for way too long. I actually have to run to uh, GNC now to pick up the uh, Chrome 3D so I can shoot a review video for you guys right there. Um, so keep an eye on that. And yeah, I can't wait to edit, edit this video for you guys. And yeah, now that this is done, it's time to go ham on the projects. Time to crank, like really push out the, um, the brand and have another launch. And as well as just bang out these videos for you guys. And hopefully you guys enjoy it as much as I do shooting it for you guys. So I love you guys. Stay positive, ignore the noise. Keep grinding, keep getting after it. You guys already know. I love you guys. Peace.